manifesting through inspired action. So a lot of people are looking for the cheat code, trying to figure out what is this manifestation? There's so much information out there about how to manifest and what manifestation is. In my research and in my experience, I've come to find out that you can work hard and make things happen or you can get into the flow, into the synchronicity of life and actually just float to the thing that it is that you want to manifest, whatever your desire is. Guess what? Faith. You have faith in what it is that you're trying to manifest because you have to in order to manifest it. But faith without works is dead. So if you do not do any works, then the faith is not made manifest of the item that you want or the thing or experience that you want. So with the works portion of manifestation, people just want to visualize and just allow it just to fall into their lap. But the missing ingredients is the action, which the manifestation process that's being taught is sort of just making you feel like you don't have to do anything. So what it is, is being in the flow. What it is, is being at the right place at the right time. Having coincidence, which there's no such thing. Synchronicity, serendipity. All of those things just lining up and things just falling into place effortlessly. That's the flow state that you need to be in to manifest Because you can manifest by just forcing hard work. But you want to work smarter, not harder, right? So that's why you're looking for all of these manifestation techniques and trying to figure out what's the easiest way to get it done with the the least amount of effort. Well, there is no effort once you get into the flow. For example... An inspired action is something that just pops into your mind randomly and you just have this urge to do something. A lot of times, people just ignore that, that, that state of when they just get that inspiration to do something. For me, a lot of times, I just put it on the list to be taken care of on a different day. That right there is a mistake because when you're in the flow and you get an inspired action from that flow state, you want to act on it immediately as it comes in because then a series of events, a series of things will start to unravel and unfold that will put you closer and closer to the vicinity of what it is that you desire to manifest. Here's an example, very simple, maybe insignificant to you, but it was significant to me. One day I wanted to go have breakfast at a local Denny's, but that was the actual main place that I always go. So I got to the light and I had a decision to either turn left to the Denny's or go somewhere else. I had already decided to go to the Denny's. But once I got to the light, I was actually inspired to go to a different diner across the other side of town. So I made a right. I get to this diner that I don't usually eat at, that I've probably eaten at maybe once or twice. And I'm rendezvousing with a stranger sitting next to, sitting next to me, a couple we end up dancing. Mind you, I'm eating breakfast by myself. 
we end up dancing at the table. And then I go to pay. And guess what? Some random person that was watching me just sat there, an older lady. So it wasn't a man or anything trying to, you know, get lucky. Some random older lady just paid for my entire bill. And I walked out of there, had fun, had a free meal because I took inspired action at the right moment. Had I went to the Denny's, I would have had my regular meal. I would have probably paid for my food. But guess what? Because I had inspired and I was in the flow. I had fun and someone else that I don't even know paid for my meal. So that's an example of inspired action versus regular forced action. So the key is to get into the flow state and take action that is inspired while you are in that state. And that state of being is a happy state of being, a satisfied, grateful state of being, a high vibration. Once you're in that state, then you get into the flow. And then you get you receive ideas, you receive instructions on what it is to do. And guess what? With those minimal actions that you do with your inspired your inspired action, everything is easy and it flows and it's enjoyable and it's magical and it doesn't take any effort. The only effort that it took was to do the action that you were inspired to do.